Sage Wanderer here coming at you from my van down by the river. So I want to make it perfectly clear that I agree with our president of the United States, Donald Trump, 100% when he says that we have to disavow all political violence, and I disavow all political violence. Now, having said that, I, I want to be careful not to sound like I'm glamorizing this guy in any way. and But I do want to point out that I think I'm starting to get inside maybe the head of the person who is making these uh, these bombs and sending them out to people. At least a little bit. I'm getting some insight based on some of the preliminary information. And I'd like, I'd like to share with you some of this insight where I feel like maybe I can get a better picture of who this person might be, this, this entity might be that's doing this. So, first of all, you got the targets. Who are the targets? Who did he send these bombs to, he or she? Uh, first one, George Soros. If you don't know who that is, he is a international uh, provocateur who pumps money into rebellions and uh, revolutions, and <clears throat> he has a solid communist agenda. Really, it's just a chaotic agenda. He wants to overturn everything, and he puts money wherever he thinks that'll happen. And places like uh, his home country of Hungary, I think, have even ran him out of the country and banned him from his own home nation. So, whoever did this targeted him first, because, you know, follow the money, that's where it's going to end up, is it's George Soros, because he's funding everything, including Hillary Clinton's campaign, and whoever they're going to run next time. So, um, then you've got Hillary and Obama. Both have recently said things that either gave aid and comfort to people who are peddling political violence from the left, or it in fact... Um, just in, you know, outright called for violence. You know, Hillary Clinton said um, that you can't be civil with these people, referring to uh, Trump supporters and, and political opponents, and that incivility is what they can expect because of their political views, and if you want civility to return, then you must put power back in the hands of the Democrats, and then they'll stop being basically violent and ugly to everyone. So she's called for violence. CNN has been protecting Antifa. CNN constantly makes excuses for the left-wing violence and, and justifies it and says it's okay. And so you can start to see that this individual has targeted people specifically who are purporting or calling for violence. I don't understand why Maxine Waters didn't get one, except all of this seems to be centered around New York, which makes me think whoever did this was in New York. Apparently, the New York governor got one as well. Um, so there's uh, several of these. And one little tidbit of information that came out today from a reporter is that her inside source, uh, inside of law enforcement, who are, are, are in charge of analyzing the device itself, are basically saying that it did not have a triggering device. So even though these were fully functioning pipe bombs, there was no, ooh, I'm going to open the top and now everything explodes kind of triggering device. That it was more like, look what I can do. I can make these. I can make a bunch of these and I can mail them around and they'll get to where they're going. And I could make them go boom if I wanted to, but I didn't. So... I think it was um, the governor of New York uh, who said, and I think he got one of these bombs too, who said um, that this was meant to terrorize. And I think it's more than that. I think it's a warning from someone quite capable of real violence. And I think because it has a lack of a triggering system, he did not really, and they would be hard-pressed to prove that he intended to blow anything up, but rather he sent these to say, hey, this is, um, this is what it looks like if you release the dogs of violence. If you call for violence, you might get violence in return. That if you want to raise your uh, minions up to cause mayhem and to burn cities and to hurt people and to cause problems in our country, then it could happen to you. 
That's what it appears to be to me, a warning of something much worse to come. If And I also think this person chose those people in particular to make them walk back and denounce political violence because these people have been calling for political violence and now they're in the position where they're going to be uh, at least appear hypocritical now to to call for an end to political violence when they've been encouraging political violence so it's i'm trying to get inside the mind of this person i think he's a disgruntled kind of uh a trump supporter potentially uh could it be a false flag um I don't know. I think if it was a false flag, it would have been, uh, there would have been some explosions. They need a little more flash. This isn't bad enough. You know, the fact that it doesn't even have the triggering system means that there was no intent for it to ever blow up. They weren't even trying to make it look like it might blow up. They were just letting them know, hey, there's this other little part that I, if I added to this, you would all have got blowed up. So it's like a threat. It's a threat without words. Uh, it's an action that equals a threat. Just my opinion from down by the river, I could be wrong. And I'm guessing because this is all just conjecture. But the bottom line is somebody here has definitely crossed the line from mild political violence into the arena of terrorism. And whether this is officially terrorism or not, uh, I think is gray. Uh, it's meant to terrorize, but was he, did he mean to kill? If he meant to kill, there would have been a triggering system. So, as it seems to me, it just looks like some kind of bizarre, weird warning. And the people he sent it to were very, you know, Eric uh, Holder. This guy, um, of course, I think that the, the, um, the bomber has a bit of a sense of humor because he sent one to Eric Holder, who recently was quoted as saying, when Trump supporters go low, uh, Michelle Obama says, we go high. Uh-uh. This is Eric Holder speaking. And he says, when Trump supporters go low, we kick them. So that's a veiled kind of threat that some people made into a big deal about him threatening to kick Trump supporters, I suppose. But... Uh, they, but the bomber sent it to this person, but the return address was to Debbie Wasserman Schultz. So, also a person involved in some of this uh, skullduggery behind the scenes criminal behavior around Hillary Clinton's emails and all of that. <clears throat> She's connected to Seth Rich in some weird ways in the deep in the conspiracy land. So, I wonder what the other return addresses were. I mean, the idea was if it doesn't make it to Eric Holder, it'll make it to Debbie Wasserman Schultz. So... I mean, it seems to me we're not dealing with a stupid person that's too dumb to make a bomb that's capable of going off. It seems to me like we're dealing with an extremely intelligent person here who's a sociopath and a little psychologically off, or a psychotic, you know, uh, he's a little psychotic, <laughs> for sure, to be mailing these dangerous substances around. But they'd be hard-pressed to uh, get an intention if there was no triggering device and it was just like, I mean, they got him on bomb-making. That's a big deal. This person's going to prison when they catch him. And they will catch him. I just don't think you can send this many things through the mail and not get on video in this world we live in. They're going to have a picture of him putting it in a box. They're going to catch him or he'll brag. That always happens. It always goes down the same way. But I do think this was a warning to those people who are calling for violence and letting them know violence is really just one thought away. I mean, just one action away. He was just one part away from being a real life. God save our republic. Things are getting weird.